Hello everyone. We're gonna give you a quick walkthrough of Novation components. We did a two part series walkthrough and demo of the Novation circuit tracks, and this was part of that. Mm -hmm. If you guys aren't sure what components is, here's Tay walking you through all of it, showing you everything it can do. Components is the online Novation hub. You can exchange sound packs, create your own synth sounds, update to the latest firmware, just kind of manage everything with your Novation devices. Uh, so let's take a look at that first. I wanna show you how to upload your own sound samples and exchange packs back and forth. So uh, let's start out here on the computer. This is the Novation Components home screen. You can clearly select all of these products here, but we're gonna be working with the circuit track. So um, after you've already logged into your account or make an account, you can come here and click the appropriate piece of gear you have. Uh, so we have circuit tracks here. So I'm gonna click that. When you first get here, you're gonna see the factory pack already over here on the left. Uh, I've taken the liberty of already making my own pack, um, and that is a pack I can send to the circuit, and that can have a number of things, and we'll get to that in a second. But uh, if you want to make your own new pack, you can go right here and click New Pack. Otherwise, if you uh, jump into creating a synth sound right away and you want to save that, you can also save it uh, to a new pack right there and then. Uh, so that's another way to do it. Uh, but let's go into my pack that I have created already. And now you'll see here uh, projects, samples, and patches. Projects is empty because I haven't created any kind of songs or anything yet. Coming over here to samples, I already have uploaded some drum sample sounds. Um, I want to add another one here, but these are, uh, these are drum sample sounds that uh, we actually recorded here at Pixel Pro Audio, and um, I wanted to use my own custom drum sounds, so we have uploaded some of these. Here's a kick, and here are the toms, and the snare. Uh, and you obviously can preview them by clicking it. Um, but I wanna add another snare sound here. There's uh, two options I have, and I only have one in here, so I'm gonna add another one. So I'm gonna click the, the appropriate box that I want it to go to. So I click that, and then I go over here to the right, and I click Upload. That will bring up a window, uh, and then you just find your file locally on your own computer. Uh, this one is gonna be the uh, Snare 4. So I'm gonna click Open and it will populate the square that I have selected for it. Uh, this will be the destination that it will be on. And you can uh, actually click and drag this to any other square, or any other position that you want. Uh, but right now I want it here. I kind of wanted the kick and toms up top and then any snare. Uh, and uh, I don't have any hi-hat sounds, but this is where I would put them. And then uh, I have this chimes here just because it's fun. Uh, but you can put anything you want anywhere. Now that I have everything in place here, uh, this is how I want it on the sample page. I'm gonna hit save to make sure that I don't lose this, so it's going to save the pack. All right, now I'm ready to go over to patches. And patches is a place where you can develop your own synth sounds. And I have already created two, and I wanna show you how to do a third we'll use in the uh, song coming up here that I'll create. Uh, but I wanna put it here eventually, but first I need to go up to these, this tab here, uh, the synth tab, and when I click on that, I'm going to get this. And it's gonna say uh, either get patch from circuit tracks, uh, create patch, or upload patch. What I wanna, I wanna create a, my own patch here. And this is going to bring up this this UI, uh, main, effects, and modulation. Uh, back on the main though, I'm going to uh, use the circuit tracks by hitting uh, some of the pads here to create a sound. I'm gonna take that sound and make it into something that I would like to use and save. And you can bounce around from the oscillators to the filters, to the envelopes, to the LFOs, all that stuff can be changed here. So let's start out and try to get something cool. All right, that's enough messing around. This is the kind of sound I came up with. It's gonna be perfect. All right, so to save this, I want to save. And I want to. I want to save, and I want to save as, uh, let's try ping three. And I want to select the pack into Tay's pack. That way it will save to my patch. Okay, so I'm gonna click save. 
Okay, once that happens, let's go back to packs and I'm going to click on my pack. And there it is, ping three under the patch tab. Uh, let's say I'm all done. I've got all the patches I want and I've added all the samples I want to this pack. Um, I don't have any projects in there yet, uh, but I want to send this to the circuit tracks. Now the circuit tracks has a the circuit tracks has a micro SD uh, in the back, and that is where this information is going to be stored. So I'm going to send to circuit tracks, and I'm going to click that. It's going to have a couple options here: send the whole pack, send projects, send samples, send patches. Uh, I'm going to send the whole pack over. So I click that, and now I have a window that pops up: send pack to circuit tracks. I have some selections. I can put up to 32 packs on here, which is crazy. Here is the circuit tracks factory pack. Here's my current uh, pack that's on the SD card and I had done another factory pack uh, here, but uh, ignore that. Uh, I'm going to select Tay's pack and overwrite that. This will take just a little bit, so sit back, relax, take a break, listen to some music, get some inspiration, whatever you want to do. Uh, when you look at the circuit tracks, it, you can see that it is transferring the data, and obviously when it's done, uh, there will be an indication of that as well. All right, that's a quick overview of Novation Components, where you can transfer data to the circuit tracks or any other Novation product that you have. Um, if there's any cool tricks or things you've learned or ideas we should try, uh, leave us a comment below and let us know what that is. Thanks, Ted. Looks like you can really do a lot with the presets and the customizable tools and components. Definitely. And this is for artists who love to control their own synth sounds and have access to other sound sets. Don't forget to check out the main two-part series where we walk through and demo the Novation Circuit tracks. Thanks to everyone for watching, and we'll see you around the drum next time.